You know what time it is, guys? It's showtime, folks! That's right. Alright, this time we're doing a Throwback Thursday. Doing a little something different on the channel. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see what we got here. This is uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System game Mega Man 2. One of the best games of the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, one of my personal favorites. Uh, Mega Man spawned sequel after sequel after sequel. There it is. But anyway, um, on the Nintendo Entertainment System, there were six of them. Uh, number seven was on Super Nintendo. Eight was on PlayStation. Then we had uh, Mega Man X on Super Nintendo, and that spawned several sequels. Uh, we're going to start with Metal Man. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Anyway, um, and uh, a side note, this has some of the best music of all the video games of the Nintendo era. In my opinion, you may have a different opinion. Um, this soundtrack is probably one of my favorites. So anyway, um, there was Mega Man X, several different Mega Man X games. I don't remember how many they had. Mega Man Legends was on PlayStation. Um, they just come out with a Mega Man 9, 10, and I think 11 for PlayStation Network. Uh, so, Mega Man's legacy has uh, yet to uh, cease, even though some of the new bosses or bad guys are kind of silly in a way. I think on Mega Man 10, there was Sheep Man. Uh, I thought that was kind of weird. But anyway, um, I remember growing up, I would try to create my own bad guys, draw them out, um, just to see who I could come up with. Um, and I don't remember if any of the ones that I come up with were some that eventually were created, but anyway. So, uh, Metal Man Stage, uh, like I said, it's one of the best, uh, songs of the game, I think. And I always started with him, he was not too difficult. Oh, uh, disclaimer, I do have some cheats on just so I don't have to, uh, get frustrated. So that's why my energy is not going down, but I don't care. It's my it's my game, and I'll cheat if I want to. I'm just joking. Anyway, so I'm about to beat Metal Man. <clears throat> and boom! There it is. Blew him to smithereens. Alright. So Metal Man has been defeated. I'm about to get the Metal Blade from Dr. Light. Here we go. Get equipped with Metal Blade. There it is, guys. They had a password system. You could check out the password system. The way you could go back to it later. We're going to get right back into it. We're going to go with Bubble Man next. And the music for the uh, this part here was uh, some of my favorite on the game. A little introduction for the bad guys. Bubble Man stage, uh, pretty interesting. The um, waterfall, uh, you were in water, so the gravity was uh, a little different. Um, pretty interesting. And uh, these frogs used to go on my nerves. Stupid little frogs. These platforms fall like you just saw, so we got to be careful there. <coughs> So if you're watching this and you're a Nintendo Entertainment System or NES or NES, whatever you want to call it, fan, uh, what were some of the, your favorite games? Uh, Throwback Thursday for me, I'm going to feature 10 of my favorite NES games um, throughout the next several Thursdays. Um, I don't know how long it'll take to finish, but it'll be fun to go through them anyway. Um, and they're in no particular order, just whichever order I feel like playing. I was going to make a list, but I was going to have to do it. I wanted to do a lot of uh, 
game footage, so I thought, you know, I'll just go for it and play the games and just talk about the, the memories I have and uh, the times I had with them, so. I remember getting Mega Man 5. I had all the Mega Mans except for Mega Man 5. Got it for Christmas one year. I found the very first Mega Man at uh, GameStop in our mall, but it used to be called Babbage's. I don't know if y'all remember that. Um, and I think I paid like 19 bucks for it for the very first Mega Man game, which was quite a bit different. Uh, there was only six bosses. Um, you had these little energy capsules that you picked up for points. Um, had a point system, which none of the rest of them did. Uh, but it was still a really good game. Uh, the music on every single Mega Man game has been phenomenal. I'm not sure who uh, is the one composing the songs, but they are a genius. All right, now on to Bubble Man. We're going to use our Metal Blade. And uh, interesting fact about the Metal Blade, if you use it against Metal Man later on in the game, one... One shot will kill him. Here we go. <clears throat> Metal blade, just a few shot, four shots, and it killed Bubble Man. So he wasn't too hard at all. All right. Now we're on to get the bubble lead. Bubble lead. Uh, it's it's a good weapon, but not so much with. Uh, any high up aerial bad guys because it travels along the floor so now we're going into heat man heat man oh yeah Whoosh. all right here we go let's do it heat man stage this stage was pretty challenging first of all uh we have these oh gosh uh this lava underneath us here we fall into it blows us up uh, we have these little, I don't even know what you call them, <clears throat> things that follow us around, which can knock you into the lava. <clears throat> and then we also have um, these big, these big chasms to, to traverse over, which that one wasn't too hard. Um, but we also have uh, this little part that's coming up here. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, disappearing blocks. That was always a fun part of the childhood. Uh. M many times you have to, uh, try to, oh my goodness. Get up there. Oh my. Come on, get up there. Uh. Oh my. Are you serious? Uh. Oh. Gosh. Come on, Mega Man. There we go. All right. And unfortunately, that wasn't the only part. We have some parts coming up here. Uh, I, there's only one certain order that I've ever played this game through. And uh, there's a part coming up where Crash Man's weapon. Oh my goodness. You could use. But I never had, did Crash Man before this level, so I never used it on here. Uh, but these little doors here, uh, Crash Man's weapon is what you, is used to blow those up. So anyway, but anyway, all right. Now here comes the uh, one of the mo more difficult parts. I uh, don't know how I will do, but let's see. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh. Oh my goodness, I don't remember the pattern. Oh, oh no. Now the lava. I'm doing good so far. Uh. Oh, I'm sweating. Don't go for the one up. It's a trap. Because you get down there and you, you die because you can't get back up there. Oh, goodness, I almost died right there. Phew, made it one time. There you go. Oh, and then there was this big old dude here. Hmm, get him. Shield guy, whatever his name is. All right, now, Heat Man, uh, use the bubble lid on. That was one thing I always thought was cool about um, Mega Man was all the bad guys, whatever, they all had a weakness. Some of the later ones... Um, their weaknesses are weird, like they don't work like these in the earlier ones did. Like, these in this game are super easy when you have the right weapon. I think Heat Man takes three hits. You have to, he flies across the screen, you have to jump over him. Oh, I missed him there. Hit him there. Three hits. 
Uh, later on, it's not so not so much. So there's Heat Man. Got that. Now we're about to get the. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. H get equipped with atomic fire. That's it, atomic fire. And then Dr. Light buzzes in. Hey, I got some mess for you. Message from Dr. Light. Make up and smell the roses. Item one completed. So in this game, there's three items that you can get. Item one, two, and three. And so we just got item one. So all we need is two more. That's going to be it for this level, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe once again. And thank you so much. Tune in next Thursday for Throwback Thursday. Have a great day. <laughs> thank you.